A vector space consists of two sets of objects, a set of vectors, so we can think of a vector v, right? A vector v is just an object with a length and direction, as we said, or magnitude and direction. So we can think of maybe a two-dimensional vector, so the set of all those vectors. And then our other set of objects here is known as the set of scalars for your vector space. And typically, as is canonical, we'll think of our scalar set as the reals. So an individual element here, the, that scalar set would be C, some sort of constant. So what we'd like to do in forming a vector space is connect via our operations that we've actually already looked at before, these two sets of things. Well, we've defined, in a way, some vector operations. And just to remind you, the way those work, I'll make them just sort of simple for a second. We'll deal with just the first two just to make this rather elementary. Um, we've defined scalar multiplication. Okay. So we looked at previously the algebraic and geometric underpinnings of scalar multiplication, how we sort of interpret that. We just scale a vector. Okay, there's a way of kind of connecting these two sets in a mathematical way. And then how can I connect sort of the elements of just the vector set? Well, a nice way to do that is just with vector addition. And we also previously looked at, once again, the mathematical and geometric sort of underpinnings of vector addition. So we introduced those two operations for a vector space, and they allow us to move between these two domains. An example of a vector space, and we've already seen a few examples, a common one would be R2. So for R2, my set of vectors consists of two-dimensional let's say arrows, right, in the plane. And my set of scalars is the set of reals. So in the plane, right, I can draw two-dimensional vectors and I can scale those vectors by real numbers, which we discussed before, and I can add those vectors and whatnot. And similarly, R3 is also a vector space. In this case, it's a three-dimensional vector space. And in this case, we just extend by one dimension, right? Our vectors consist of sort of three-dimensional arrows in three space. And our scalars, once again, that scalar set is by convention here going to be the set of all reals. More generally speaking, if I have an n-dimensional vector space, I can say r to the nth power or the nth Cartesian product of r. This is an n-dimensional vector space. And this is usually called, this is the sort of canonical vector space that you deal with in mathematics and applied mathematics. Um, that is called the Euclidean vector space, or just Euclidean space, typically. So you can just refer to the space as uh, R2, R3, Rn. If you append to that a uh, what's called an inner product or a dot product, then you have kind of Euclidean space with angles and norms, in other words, lengths of vectors as we know them intuitively.